Hey, what's up, guys? Random Porpoise here, and I'm back with another video today. And today we're going to be continuing on our Minecraft Inverted Coaster. Today we'll be finishing the supports for what we have so far, and adding a little bit more onto the first half. And before we start, I have a couple announcements. I've started playing Fortnite again, which I actually started playing back in Season 3. If for those of you who play Fortnite, but then around like the beginning of season five, I stopped because it was like the beginning of summer and I'm bad at the game and like it was too hard and I couldn't get any kills. But then recently up in like early September, I started up again and so I might do some streams for that. And also, um, I've been considering maybe taking out my intro because I'm too lazy to edit it into all my videos. So in the comments down below, just tell me if you want to to keep me to keep the intro or if you don't want me to keep the intro it's up to you guys and so on with the video so i'm just working on the supports here for the corkscrews and this part here and this bank turn before the dive loop and if you can kind of see on loop i did kind of like a ferris wheel structure i guess you could say which i'm going to end up removing that later for reasons you'll see um but i'm just work i'm making the supports here and I was annoyed. Some of them, they had to go all the way deep because there was this one part next to where I built the trench. Um, it was super deep, and that's why it took so long for me to build the trench, and I cut it out of the video that I was in. And here, I was just unlucky. It was right on the edge, and one of the things had to go all the way down. And so I kind of changed my design a little, I guess, but here I'm removing this Ferris wheel structure kind of thing for the zero g roll at first i was just going to remove it temporarily to build the zero g roll but i decided to fully remove it later and so as you can see i'm building the zero g roll and i actually made it go like straight into a mid-course break run and the reason why i removed the ferris wheel type structure is because i had trouble like fitting in the actual track to make it realistic and so I'm just, like, editing the track here so it can, like, fit into the Ferris wheel. But then it gets too close to the track below it in the loop. And so I ended up just changing it all together. And I found out that I'd made the barrier blocks too low, so I also made those go up a little bit. And I'm thinking about actually changing the redstone timings for that slime block launcher on the loop to make it, like, a little faster. Because you're actually kind of, like, sitting on the slime block thing, like, for a second. And that's not really that realistic. It's not like roller coasters when they're going in a vertical loop. They just stop and then continue with the vertical loop. So I'll probably change that. And I'm just working on fixing the dive loop there. And adding some powered rails to keep the minecart going there. And even though it's not that realistic, I decided I had to do it anyway because, like, it looks as if it could be a real coaster, except for the fact that the loop is, like, almost as big as the lift hill. I'm not the biggest fan of that. But I'm just making that transition into the mid-course break run here and the catwalks. And right here, my dad actually called me, so I just stopped for a minute. And then, so, yeah. And I'm, so I'm making the drop out of the mid-course break run. And that's as far in the layout as we're going to get today. But I'm going to be making some more edits. Um, I actually, on the lip, on the drop, the main drop, I made it bank, because I realized I'd forgotten to do the bankage of the main drop, and so I decided to change that a little and make it more realistic, because it felt like you were kind of banking inward, I guess you could say, and, I mean, technically it's banking outward, but since it's an inverted coaster, it feels like it's banking inward, and I'm also adding some fences, um, to the catwalks to make it more realistic. So yeah, I'm just removing all the barrier blocks and then placing them in back, but more outside so it looks like the track is actually like curving when you're on it, when it's banking, to make it more realistic. And I'm also probably gonna change the station. Cause just like, the station currently is just a makeshift hut that I built like ages ago in this world. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna use that for my station. So I decided to use that, but I feel like it doesn't really fit with what I'm doing, with like the color scheme. Like red and black doesn't really feel that foresty, you think? Yeah. And so since this coaster's mainly over water, 
it's a little annoying to make the supports because I have to do a, a good amount of extra supporting to make it go underwater. And but I eventually, it's not. It's kind of annoying, but it's not that bad. Also, for the mid course break run, I made this little support structure, um, to to hold the whole thing. And then here, um, that's the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.